Hey there, Scorpios, and welcome back for another Scorpio reading. Uh, I hope you guys are doing absolutely amazing, Scorpio. I hope you are resting, uh, recuperating, rejuvenating, uh, protecting your energy. Uh, you know, sometimes you have to just take some time to yourself, Scorpio, especially if you're always giving and giving and giving here. But I pre-shuffled this card, this deck, Scorpio, and uh, as I was pre-shuffling my tarot card, Scorpio, it's like somebody is coming for Scorpio's heart. They coming for their cup, Scorpio. It, it's like, it's like I got the energy of like, and this is some past energy. I'm going to have to keep it real. It's past energy, but it, hey, I'm just telling you. But it's like, there's, it's like they're remembering the taste of Scorpio's cup. I said, for those who didn't hear me in the back, we're going to say it one more time. I say they miss the taste of Scorpio's cup. They do. They missing that cup. And they don't want no taste now. Like I said, they want to drink the cup. They want to drink it up over and over and over again because they know how Scorpio is easily replenished. Okay? <laughs> this is why you have barren fruit in your energy, Scorpio. Because you are fruitful. I mean, boy, Scorpio, Scorpio, I tell you what. Now, some of your exes be trying to talk shit about you, Scorpio. But I guarantee you they would all say the same thing. Yeah, Scorpio crazy. Yeah, Scorpio be on some F shit. Yeah, Scorpio kind of, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when she get mad, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's sweet, y'all. Uh -huh. Yeah, but when she get mad, though. No, no, yeah, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They get sweet, yeah, yeah, encouraged. Yeah, yeah, they do. Uh, but man, when she get mad, though. Let's talk about that. When they get mad, though. It's like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, you can't hang with Scorpio when they get mad. But make no mistake about it, Scorpio, they recognize the true essence of you based on the love in your cup, okay? They ain't been able to find that flavor nowhere, Scorpio. They said that, that flavor must come from another galaxy, another galaxy, another dimension. Scorpio got that other dimension type of flavor going on. <laughs> Shit, Scorpio, whoever this is, say Scorpio got that other dimension flavor going on. <laughs> they say it's always plentiful in Scorpio's cup. You could never drain the cup of a Scorpio. I'm telling you, somebody feels like your drops and your moisture and your emotions will never, ever, ever run dry. And, and, and that's why they are about to go crazy, Scorpio. So we're pulling from the oracles of the seven energies for you, Scorpio. But like I said, when I, after I had already shuffled these and found the meaning of them, because I'm going to read just the gist of them, I went over to my tarot to pre-shuffle them and, and, you know, bring them, you know, put some life into them, some energy. And I could instantly see, I'm like, who, who, who is this coming in from the, trying to come in? Who, who trying to rush in upon Scorpio, you know, and, and things. So I always somebody want to come in. And now, now what you want Scorpio for till I seen that queen of cups. And I'm like, oh, I didn't see the queen of wands. I didn't see the queen of pentacles. I did not see the queen of swords. I saw the queen of cups. So someone has a lot of love for you, baby. And they probably perhaps even got some money with that honey. Ooh, Scorpio, Scorpio. But you need to check out these Oracle cards on you because it's so you. Because <laughs> when I was reading, I'm like, yeah, now, now, now that's me, Spirit. You know, you know me so well, Spirit. You know me so well. So we're going to begin with this first one, which is number two. You got two, eight, and 18 here. Now, this number two is Roots of Abundance here. Roots of Abundance, Scorpio. And it says, being stabilized by deep roots, anchoring yourself and feeling secure in your life. Trust and believe in abundance. It says, if you find yourself ungrounded thinking, now is the time for radical trust. Growth never follows a straight line. You will manifest what you need when you need it. A tall, healthy tree doesn't need to hold on to the ground for dear life. It knows it will not fly away with the wind because its roots are planted deep in the earth. Ooh, 
Scorpio. They just said some shit right there. Did you hear what they said? They're trying to help you manifest now. It's almost, it's almost, it's almost like it's telling you you don't need an intercessor for you. You, you, you have everything you need. Why are you steady trying to pull everybody else into your power when you have it? You don't have it because you're not working what you have. The tree naturally does what it do. Where if you're this magician, if you have this power, you're supposed to be using it. I'm just saying. You have to. It says roots of abundance. It says being stabilized by deep roots. Anchoring yourself and feeling secure in your life. Trust and belief in abundance. It's telling you, you got to believe in it. You can't be doubting it, but still wanting it and need it. You got to believe and you got to know it ain't, it's based, it's really more than a belief. It's to a point now, it's a no. It's a no in your spirit. It has to be a no in order for shit to happen now. Because there's so many lies and so many illusions. You don't know what's real and what's fake until you really be forced to, to face it and see what's going to happen. And I guarantee usually if you really face it, you're going to find out how powerful you really are. And that shit going to start flying. Tens going to start flying in. It says if you find yourself in ungrounded thinking, if you're thinking negatively, it says now is the time for radical trust. It said radical trust. It said, like I say, it's, 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 it's farther than a belief system. It has to be damn near to a no system. You got to know in your heart because what you're trying to manifest and what you're believing or what you're thinking in, you know in your spirit that it, it's going to happen for you. And yes, it's, it's, sometimes it takes time, but it said, it, it give you the key word. It says radical. You know, sometimes you have to fight. You know, it's not really a sometimes. We're living in a warfare here now, people. This is a spiritual warfare. Yeah, it plays out through our body, through our experiences. But just think it, just imagine if you could see everything spiritually, well, a lot of us couldn't handle it. So we're in this flesh, but it's a whole spiritual warfare going on. And it starts within your thinking here. Because if you're thinking can be in control of a negative thing, uh, then that's what's going to always manifest. But if you can... Uh, work on the will and the power to, to constantly think about good things that's going to bring you a good report, then that's when your roots are planted. Your roots are planted of abundance. It's like anything you desire, you got to plant it. You got to plant something. You have to plant it, but you have to always nurture it. You remember they, they did the study, the guy who did, I think a couple of different people did it, where they had two different plants. And one plant, they wouldn't talk to it. They wouldn't nurture it. You know, they wouldn't speak life into it. You know, they wouldn't nurture. They wouldn't put that effort into it. While the other one, they just loved on. They talked to it as if it was a person. They put all that energy in it. And within time, they saw the difference. Now, they did everything. They just didn't talk and, and love on that one, the other one. They fed it and everything, but it's still, it's an energy. It was the energy. It's because the plant has life. It is the earth. It is still vibrating on what you say is vibrate. If you say it's going to vibrate in a healthy way, that's going to bring you something good, then that plant going to do that. If you ignore that plant like it's irrelevant, it will shrivel up and die. And that's what happened. And that's the same thing with what we're going through in this world. Now, the next card is number eight. Into me, I see. It's what it says. Into me, I see. Now, it says intimacy, trust in another. Dropping shields and rigid boundaries to allow connection. The willingness to be dun, 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 vulnerable. <laughs> oh, Scorpio Spirit say, please, child, put that stinger up. I got a good one for you. Every time I bring you something good, you bring out that stinger. Stop it. Will you just stop? <laughs> Spirit is like Scorpio. Just, just stop. No, 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 no. I know, I know. We don't need this. No, no, no. We don't need the death card. This chapter is just, just, just. Come on now. Put, put this thing up now. I got you a good. Just, just, just trust me. I got you a good one. I promise. <laughs> oh, let me read that to you again. Now <laughs> it says in, intimacy, trust in another. This is this, this is the overall energy of what this into me I see. Intimacy, trust in another. Dropping shields and rigid boundaries to allow connections. The willingness to be vulnerable. Wow. It says this concept applies beyond romantic connections. 
What do the dynamics in your closest friendships, work relationships, and family say about you? Relationships are extraordinary opportunities for healing. When uh, pr uh, predicted, well, predicated on honest, well, when predicated on honesty and caring, they have a great impact on how you contribute to the world. Intimate relationships hold up a mirror of truth and reveal more treasures than you might ever expect. If you can look into it, take a risk and see everything as beautiful, even in its imperfections, imagine how deep you can go. Now, we've never had a problem. because that's, that's where we didn't got fooled at. We could always see something beautiful into something. But I feel like what Spirit is telling you, okay, this, you know, this is the, the same energy it takes for you to totally sabotage and overthink this relationship away from you. <laughs> it's the same energy you can turn around and, and, and manipulate it in their magician energy and put it in a place where it benefits you and you come out winning because everything is not going to always turn out bad. But if we always, you know, cause you know, cause, let, let's say if you're going out on a first date with somebody, it just seems like little things just start happening. Like, Maybe they run out of gas. You're like, oops, I had number one. Because if you really cared, it wouldn't have ran out of gas. You know, it, it, dude could have just, just, just been really, really busy, you know, and, and didn't, didn't have time. He wanted to pick you up first because you all he'd been thinking about. And instead of you saying, well, I, I understand. You want to go back home. <laughs> you want this man to hurry and put that gas in the car and take you back home. He's like, but, but I got reservations, please. <laughs> Spirit is just telling you, just relax, Scorpio. Sometimes, sometimes you, you sometimes you can actually let your guards down. Everyone is not going to hurt you. Everyone is not the same person. The same type of love that you are longing for, it is out here for you. But you're going to have to put your, you know, set your boundaries aside uh, and take a leap of faith and, and see because you have a whole world out here. And you have a lot of love to give. And I know you have the right one that's ready for you uh, that ha that can match your love. Because it's, it's going to take a special type of person it's only because you're just so awesome like, like that, Scorpio. And they're going to be just as awesome as you. And you guys are going to hit it off. But you're never going to know it if you always counsel them all be before something can really happen. I mean, I'm just saying. It's time to take a leap of faith towards something that's going to really make you happy in the end. So this last card is the 18. It says the power of purpose. I like that, Scorpio. That sounds good. The, the power of purpose. Now this one says individuation, 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 <laughs> seeing your unique place in the world, a clear sense of authentic purpose, healthy self-esteem, letting go of conditioning, celebrating your uniqueness, you be you. Okay, it says the discipline and will to evolve are yours by nature. This process doesn't have to be a struggle. You cannot fail if you immerse yourself fully in what is in front of you now. You are exactly where you are supposed to be. You never have to seek your purpose or wonder what it is. Just keep removing the blocks to your essential self and your purpose will find you. It's that easy. What a wonderful thing to know. Damn, that was deep. Let me, let me do that again for you. It says, you never have to seek your purpose, Scorpio, or wonder what it is. You just keep removing the blocks to your essential self and your purpose will find you. Just keep removing the blocks to your essential self and your purpose will find you. It's that easy, Scorpio. What a wonderful thing to know. <laughs> Ooh, that was nice, Scorpio. I ain't gonna pull no more. Ooh, that was sweet, Scorpio. Let me get on. What time is it? <laughs> like I say, you have, look, underneath the bottom of this, you have, Bearing fruit, so we know you're you're plentiful, you're fertile. We it doesn't necessarily mean with the physical baby, but some of y'all fertile as hell, so you better be careful. No, you're horny and fast right about now, <laughs> and ain't nobody trying to wear no condoms. They got songs out about I ain't using condoms. So I'm just saying, <laughs> heads up on that, okay? But you are fertile in every area of your life. It's like 
Whatever you touch will manifest. It will multiply. It will increase. It will be very successful here. Uh, what it says, waken the lion here. Some of y'all are in beast mode here. You probably been stuck and stagnant for a while, but something is, is you got your passion back. And you you full you full speed ahead now, Scorpio. And you look very, very good doing it here. Some of you are about to let go of your emotions, let go, let go of your guards, and just let someone love you. While some some of you are going to let go of a love relationship here. But it doesn't matter because you're gonna shine through anyway, because you are shining. You have a lot of attention on you. Uh the universe is has placed a stamp of approval already on you. This is why you shine. This is why you shine, outshine all the rest. Uh, there's no comparison. Even though you're not competing, there's still no comparison. But somebody wants to come in and have this tender embrace with you. <laughs> oh, shit. They want to embrace you, Queen of Cups. They want to embrace your love, honey. They want to hug you. Somebody misses hugging you, Scorpio. Now, I'm telling you. Somebody probably don't want you to let them go. I'm just saying somebody wants to hold on to you, but they sure want their cup. But underneath the bottom of this deck, you got the King of Pentacles here. Now, this is Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn's energy here. Uh, now, this could be you. It could be you. It says fruits of abundance. Shit, you could be bossing up. You could be like, <laughs> you could be at the store or wherever, you know, and standing in line and all the men around trying to stun and get your attention. And everybody trying to, I, I, I hate me, Scorpio. Let, 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 let me dad about it for you. Let, let, let me bad dad about you. <laughs> and all this shit uh, don't, don't go through, you know. <laughs> but you pull right on up and you buy your own shit, Scorpio. I'm telling you, if that's you and that king of pentacles, you're going to have a lot of haters after you, male and female, especially the men. They're not going to be able to handle you, especially if you're a female, Scorpio, if you're in this king of pentacles energy. But if this is not you in this king of pentacles energy, then you have a uh, earth sign, possibly of someone who uh, likes, to, like, likes to look good. They like good things. They like materialistic things. They're going to always smell good. They're on to the latest things. They're going to have the up-to-date, nicest car. Uh, this is a nice looking person here. Uh, they believe in investing into their person, in their mate here. And they believe in selling down. You might get a relationship with this King of Pentacles. If this King of Pentacles <clears throat> is not already involved with someone, Scorpio. Because we know this King of Pentacles is, is someone who is usually in a relationship already. So let's see what's coming towards you in love and romance. Spirit, show me Scorpio in love and in romance. Spirit, what does Scorpio need to know? What does Scorpio need to be aware of in this current time? Uh, wrapping up the money march energy for Scorpio in love. And oh shit. Some of y'all dealing. <clears throat> oh, some of y'all dealing with the Gemini. I be talking and talking, putting these videos out of my mouth. I had me some blackberry wine. That Arbor Mist blackberry wine, Scorpio, is so delicious. Pardon me, Scorpio. Let me take a sip of water. Have I guess because it has sugar in it. I've been out grilling all morning, all day today. But this is going to be, this is going to play Monday. So Sunday I did. Uh-oh, excuse me, Scorpio. Sorry about that. <laughs> but she, y'all got the freaking lover's card right here. Now, what y'all doing? Now, this is... We know that's Gemini's energy. This is choices here. This is also a spiritual connection here with someone. Uh, could be that you got someone that's trying to come in here <laughs> and bring you something stable, someone, you know. Someone want that cup, Scorpio. So they try. I'm telling you, they want that cup. Didn't I tell you they want that cup? Didn't I just tell you that the person got you on their mind and ever since they drunk out that cup, they can't get it off their off the mind. Now, they may have not drunk... Now, this may not even be anyone from your past, though, Scorpio. I don't know who it is, but you got somebody who is is, is got a spiritual connection with you. Uh, could be someone who, uh, I don't feel like this is a friend. This is a love relate. This is a love reading. So this is a romantic relationship, which is a soulmate here. You guys uh, have a lot of spiritual things in common here. Uh, you have some type of spiritual connection with this person here. Ooh, Spirit, show me what's going on in this Wheel of Fortune here. Ooh. So something, something is, this is an opportunity here. This is some, um, 
I feel like something is about to happen good for you, Scorpio. Oh, this 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 is some good luck coming in here. This is some money, perhaps. A new opportunity. Um good luck is what I see. Something has changed in someone's favor here. Or something can be abundant here. <laughs> something going on here with this wheel of fortune. Now it could be that uh this is oh you got the ace of one. Oh somebody got a lot of passion for you, I see. Well, that's six of pentacles here. Now, somebody wants to come in and spend some money. Somebody wants to do some things for you, Scorpio. Now, if that's that king of pentacles, I feel like it could be someone. Look, you got the nine of cups. Oh, so you're about to be happy, Scorpio. You're about to be happy. And I'm not finna. Wait a minute. Let me just look underneath this. Clarify, you got the ten of cups. <laughs> Oh, Scorpio, you may be so happy. Now, you could just be happy, Scorpio. Things could finally be turning out in your favor. This will of fortune, things are finally shining for you. You're on the good side of karma. Luck is on your side. You got pursuers all after you and things, sniffing all under your dress and shit. Uh, you're, uh, you got people coming in, doing things for you because you may have your option of different or who to pick from. I feel like some of y'all, y'all happy. <laughs> you happy and some of y'all low-key smug because you got all this attention on you. you look, s some of y'all happy. Your home is happy. <laughs> but some of y'all emotionally, you're not you're not uh, giving in to them, but you're dating them. Ooh, let's see. What's up with this Wheel of Fortune for Scorpio? Ooh, Wheel of Fortune. Put that to the side. I don't believe that. Clarify this will of fortune. Unless this is someone you already knew. They could have ace of wands here. So it could be with that ten of swords coming out here first. It could be that after a after you ended something with someone, three of wands gonna come out. <laughs> so what? <laughs> someone want a future with you, Scorpio. Ah, Scorpio. Now, it could be that they may have had another lover in the past or they may have had to choose someone else and they chose someone else. Could be. There was a breakup here. But I feel like things is turning around here for somebody here with this will of fortune because somebody wants a future with you, Scorpio. They want you in their future here. Ooh, clarify this lover's. Five of one, someone may have been, so you may have a lot of people fighting to be your lover. <laughs> she looked, the lovers. <laughs> Some of y'all so fast out there, the sun finally coming out, it's warming up and shit, you got folks blowing you up. Some of y'all got multiple lovers, y'all got fighting over y'all. Ooh, y'all got Gemini up in here. Four cups here. And you may be over it. <laughs> you may be like, look, I don't know what y'all fighting and fussing for. I don't belong to nobody here. Ooh, Scorpio, you got that moon card here. Let me keep on pulling here. You got this nine of cups here. So you're going to be happy here. All right, Spirit, what's going on here for Scorpio? I feel like you got lovers fighting over you, Scorpio. You got lovers. Look, <laughs> that ace of wands. <laughs> You got the Ace of Wands out here twice, Scorpio. Ooh, you got the Ace of Wands twice. You got the Lover's card twice. <laughs> Ooh, you may not want any of them, Scorpio. You may not want any of the ones who's doing all this unnecessary, doing doing a lot. Ooh, look, there go that freaking Ten of Pentacles, though. Ooh, shit. It just got interesting, yeah. Somebody want a long-term relationship with you, Scorpio, is what I see. Somebody wants you, Scorpio. They want this long-term relationship with you. Let me move these out the way. Shit. I feel like this is what it is. You got the Six of Pentacles here. You have the Lover's card here. You remember you when I clarify the Lover's, you got the Five of Wands, which means fussing, fighting could be competition here. Uh, you know, too many people. Lovers represents a choice here. You got a choice to make between people. 
Between who? Between a lover. <laughs> that either someone is bored, a, a missed an opportunity with, could be that someone, <laughs> could be someone feel like they missed an opportunity with you, Scorpio, even though they want you in their life. But they could feel like this. they did you like this and this Ten of Swords here. This Wheel of Fortune could have been that the cycle ended. And look, they could be the one. See, they ass is the one down here. You up here. You you on the good side. They on the bad side. That's why that's why they trying to come back to you. If it was good, if it was if it wasn't good, then if it was, you know, the loser always comes back. I'm just saying. <laughs> I don't know where I read that at, but I'm sure it says that somewhere. I'm just saying because they trying to come back to you. Look, the Ace of Wands, the Three of Wands, they looking ahead. They want this beginning with you. They know their ass is underneath the bottom of this wheel, so they know that they're receiving some type of karma. I'm, things probably are not as good for them as it is you because you're on the good side of it. And you're on the good side because you were the one that was done wrong. But they want to come back and start over because now they see a future with you. They, they see you. They want you. But I guess... This person may have been in a uh, karmic cycle where they had to, where they were on their, 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 their soul's journey here when you met them. They could have, they could have been, you know, you, sometimes you get caught up with people <laughs> uh, in this daytime of reaping back what they put out and shit and you, you become affected by other folks shit. You do. Look, that nine of cups is not playing with you, Scorpio. Spirit say, I said Scorpio is finna be happy. I said finna, I'm country finna. Your fist to be. <laughs> finna break it out down. Your fist to be, Scorpio. You're about to be so happy. You got the nine of cups and the ten of pentacles, Scorpio. Something about to happen in your life. You got the will of fortune on you. It's on your side. It ain't in reverse. You, that's you. Meanwhile, whoever trying to come back to you, they're trying to come back to you because... It's not so good on them now. It's it couldn't be. <laughs> You're happy. You did it. This this ten of pentacles could very well be you. You know you could have worked some. Some got you happy. You you could be that king of pentacles where you're able to give out to people like that. I'm just saying shit. But I feel like you got somebody else coming here because you got the lovers card twice. You got the ace of wands twice. Someone trying to come in to you, honey. Someone who who wants you intimately. They want you intimately bad. Shit, you got the ace of wands twice. Two of wands. So this is playing and this is what they're planning. I feel like now if this ain't them, this you, you probably are you probably making boss moves. You ain't tripping. You just planning your your future. You're happy. You're thinking about what what can you do next that's gonna because I feel like the world is yours now, especially if you're in this nine of cups. And don't let this ten of pentacles be you. <laughs> Shit, you just planning, probably making boss moves on your phone all day. You get to wear your heels and look cute and things, and and you just call your own shots. You 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 can do what you want here. You're not under anybody. I don't see any restraints on you. I feel like whatever happened to you in the past, see now it could be that whoever comes back or. or they're on the bad side of karma. They could be doing bad because, number one, they're not in your life. Number two, their money may not be so good. Not as good as yours, Scorpio. Who, Scorpio? Let's see. Let's see what's going on here. All right, Spirit. What's going on here for Scorpio's love life? What's going on for Scorpio's love life, Spirit? Show me for Scorpio. Tell you what, that nine of cups and that ten of pentacles show look pretty. Even that ace of wands, that ace of, look, huh? King of wands. Ooh, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries here, Scorpio. Mm-mm. Someone you got, you make, that's the first king I see on here. I see, I see. We see you, king of wands. This king of wands could be this king of wands is, is planning to try to come back to you. Or this person is planning uh, for to, to try to have a, a new life with you. We're going to see what the, the King of Wands is talking about. Now you got the Page of Pentacles. So you got some good news coming in, Scorpio. You got some very, very good news coming in for you. Now this good news could be about you to want something that's going to make you happy in this Nine of Cups. I'm saying it's going to allow you to have a brand new beginning here. Uh, probably even travel the world with this Wheel of Fortune here. 
where you're able to give to people, you can help your loved ones in the Six of Pentacles, uh, that you're going to be happy and, and fulfilled here. This Look, <laughs> see, you got the Ace of Pentacles underneath the bottom. Oh, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. That Knight of Wands again. Oh, let me see. That's nice energy. Let me see what's up with this King of Pent this King of Wands here. Because you remember at the bottom at first we saw the King of Pentacles. Like I said, that King of Pentacles could be you. I know Spirit is constantly bringing things to you, though. This you, this this is opportunity. You always have aces for you. They go that Ten of Cups again. Mm -mm. All right, Spirit, what's up with this King of Wands for Scorpio? Clarify this King of Wands. King of Wands is clarified by the King of Swords. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius is energy here. So this could be a very serious type of person with detached energy. Let, let's see. What, what's up with this king? Got king, king here. Oh, the queen of wands. I heard that. So they're serious about you. <laughs> They got a lot of passion. They look, they're going to that King of Wands, Queen of Wands vibe going on again. That's why you got the Lover's card twice and the Ace of Wands twice. <laughs> they serious about you too, Scorpio. They want to they want to take a different approach towards this. They they see because I feel like they're thinking about. I feel like they're thinking for the long term now, especially with this and the Three of Wands. Now they're thinking about long term with you and not just no short term. You know what I'm saying? That, but they got a lot of patterns. Now, don't think. Look, you got the lovers card here twice and the ace of wands here twice. What you think they gonna want to, Scorpio? I mean, goddamn. I'm just saying. Come on now. You know they gonna want some of that. Some of that wet, wet. <laughs> Both of y'all love life was the bomb. I could tell the king of wands, the queen of wands. How, how you think y'all got out? Come on now. Come on now. Come on. All right then. And this person is serious here. They're very serious. They're going to take a different approach. They're not rushing in. They're not trying to. They're confident. God dang it. Now, you can't take that away. But then again, you in your shit, too. You back up on your bullshit. Back up on your. You're doing the same shit they doing, but you just a little bit prettier, Scorpio. I'm just saying, both of y'all on y'all own shit. You got two aces of wands, two lovers, the king and the queen of wands up in this thing. And the possibilities are endless now. This could be that you guys got an opportunity to get together and make something beautiful together, Scorpio. I feel like something good can come out of this. Give me another card for this queen of wands, for this king of wands. Bam, the tower, you don't see it coming. Bam, the tower, you don't see it coming. Ooh, you don't see this coming, Scorpio. This is something you can't see. It's going to shock your ass, but ooh, Scorpio. Oh, Scorpio, this is finna catch you by surprise, honey. It's going to surprise you that this fire sign is going to come up out of nowhere, want to be serious. They're serious. They're going to be so serious. It's going to be like a dream. You see them, them butterflies. You're going to be like, what the hell wrong with you? Ooh. Something has happened. So I feel like this is someone who you're not with because of that ten of swords. This person may have had other lovers here. Something, some type of realization or something that you don't see coming is happening here. What is it? Spirit, clarify this tower for Scorpio. Justice. Ooh. Some of y'all finna get a payback from this situation. Oh, Scorpio, what you don't see coming back is payback, Scorpio. I wonder what that is. Just as is, I don't know if however this person did you, maybe you're going to do this to them. I don't know. But they show coming back. Or this this is how they feel. That, that, I don't know. I feel like this is a unit. I feel like for those who really, really wanted this relationship, but... Spirit really had to do something different in you to for your energy to hang with with cuz you know sometimes you have such a gentle soul on the inside of you and it, it it's not tough enough for the wickedness of this world seriously because people will suck all of that out of you and leave you just gone. So I feel like instead of showing up in that they see you as the queen of cups or that's that's the overall energy that I see it's still you. You still got that love and nurturing but 
It's something about this dynamics with this person here it puts you on their equal. You're not all in your emotions here. You're their match. You stand on your ground. You you're not you're not insecure. You don't you're not in your feelings. You you like you know it just it just it just it just a match here. This is a this is a team here, but it's a very passionate, exciting, a very stimulating connection here. And I feel like this person probably downplayed you in the past, but now. You then superseded their ass, so you're on their level now, Scorpio. This is justice now because you're not all about emotions. It's almost like if this was the King of Wands, you probably was with this person in the in the Queen of Cups or King of Cups or Queen of Cups energy, and they walked all over that Queen of Cups. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Would come, you know, do what they want to do and. Don't want to lay in a puddle or whatever. But in this queen of wands, you do what you're going to do and you'll leave they ass type of shit. <laughs> and it's, it's their match now because it ain't no emotions. You don't want to be bothered with them either. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm That's how I feel it because something is about to happen now. If this justice card is showing up too, could also represent this person's going to come back and balance the scales between the two of you because they effed up. They're coming back to give you everything and, and to make it up because... They did not treat you right. It was not fair. It wasn't a fair equal give and take. They took from you because you were loving them. You know what I'm saying? And they're coming back to bring back the balance between the two of you so that they can be on the good side of karma, Scorpio. Oof. Now, what's up with this Ace of Wands for Scorpio? Ace of Wands is the Hermit card. So some of y'all dealing with the Cap... I mean, a Virgo here. So... Someone, I feel like this person is <laughs> praying for you. Clarify this hermit card. They looking at tarot again. This person is looking at tarot. Look, <laughs> the magician. <laughs> Go. Whoever this person is, they watching a lot. Look, they watching something. What are they watching? They watching. They're watching magic. They're watching something that's telling them about this Ace of Wands. I feel like this person keep following folks who do tarot about Scorpio. This is a Scorpio cross watcher. It seemed like a Scorpio cross watcher. The magician card. Or this person could be watching someone to learn how to do something. Because they're watching. They want this with you. They want this with you. So who's to say they ain't watching somebody they trying to find answers, aren't they? They're trying to find answers on how to get this pop in. I'm telling you. How to get what? Like this. They're trying to either manifest or they're trying to work magic. Now, do you see the card? You got the hermit card next to the magician. But in this picture, she she online. What was she looking at? I mean, what's, what's, she, what's she trying to find out? She all quiet and shit. You got all this shit. You got all this all these flowers and oils and shit. Well, what you doing? Because they want this with you, Scorpio. Ooh. <laughs> I wonder what is this tower called? Oh, Scorpio. Clarify this magician spirit for Scorpio. <laughs> the star. See, you always get the star here. I feel like they're wishing. See, this, this person's trying to manifest you. They are wishing for you. This is what they're they're doing. They, I feel like this person's watching manifestation videos over and over and over again. How to manifest someone back in your life. How to manifest a new beginning with Scorpio. This is what they watching right here. They're wishing. They're wishing like hell because you got. Look now. This is what they're doing. They're trying. They're they're researching some type of information on how to manifest you, and they're wishing. They're wishing for you. What I feel like is, it's. it's and it may not be even materialistic things. It's just them saying shit. They may they may be writing your name down a lot of times or chanting something. Chanting, I want come back to me, Scorpio. I want they're doing something. I'm telling you something that they didn't got offline. They didn't got off of a site. They didn't got on the, off the internet. They're trying to now either this person for some of you Scorpio is actually trying to do some type of love spell to have this new beginning, or this person is doing some type of. They're watching some type of, some type of uh, spiritual program where they're using mantras and they're they're chanting your names and shit. They can even have a picture of you or something. All this to get the same ones. Oh my God, <laughs> Scorpio. 
Oh, shit, Scorpio. Your people. Yo, you got some. Ooh, Scorpio. Ooh. It could be a Pisces. It could be a Virgo. It could be an Aquarius. It could be a Libra. It could be an Aries. It could be a Gemini here. Ooh, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Look at this. I'm telling you, this is what it is. I'm looking at her, look at the, looking at the screen. She's online looking up some shit. Now, with this magician card, either this person is physically doing something because they're doing a lot. They're setting their intent. But with this star card, I feel like they're setting strong intentions like they're speaking your name or like they done wrote your name down a couple of times or Sharon in the X sitting in the tree. Uh, I'm sorry, brown eyes in the X sitting in the tree. <laughs> K-I-S-S-I-N-G. <laughs> you know, saying all of that. <laughs> It's like, uh, uh, Scorpio, come back. Scorpio, come back to me. Scorpio, you love me. Scorpio, you love the ex. Scorpio, you know, it's like they're doing something. Scorpio, you miss me. Scorpio, you miss They're doing something. I'm telling you. They're doing something to get this popping off here. Now, what's up with this page of pentacles? Look, there go that king. I told you the king was around. I told you it was a king. Now, you already got the, um, the king of wands that's very, very serious-minded and focused and, 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 and taking different, uh, different approaches towards your relationship with them in this king of swords energy, but they got a lot of passion towards the queen of wands energy that you're in. So now we see this king of pentacles. So clarify this page of pentacles. What is this message about? Six of swords here. So some of you guys going to get some news about something here. Some of y'all might have to go pick up some money. Some of you may have gotten some money to move here. Ooh, nope. King of Cups. Ooh, Scorpio. King of Cups here. So someone's going to get in contact with you. Some good news about, about having peace between the two of you. Or maybe this person wants to let you know that they finally moved somewhere. Maybe this person has moved uh, and they want you to know that they're in love with you. I feel like this person, whoever this person is, their person done moved and they want you to come back. <laughs> they done moved in this six of swords, but they want you to come back. If that's all they've been doing is thinking about you in this king of cups energy. Ooh, clarify this king of cups. Clarify this king of cups. Look, same one. King of Wands. <laughs> this King of Wands is in love with you, Scorpio. The one who, the same one working spells on you. Oh, they might be laying at, <laughs> they may be laying down with the TV on, Jack and all saying, ooh, Scorpio, Scorpio, ooh, Scorpio, come back to me, come back to me now. They doing something, I'm telling you, they doing something. They, they you're going to get a call from this person. They want to do something for you, though. <laughs> clarify the six of pentacles oh my goodness clarify the six of pentacles mm, mm, mm. two of pentacles here now this person i feel like this person has been juggling their money i feel like they've been they've been given out here now their money may not because they went from giving out the six of pentacles now they juggling two clarify this two of pentacles Page of Pentacles, that same Page of Pentacles again. They went from six Pentacles to two Pentacles to one Pentacle. <laughs> Damn. Look, you got an opportunity with this person here because with that you got this Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, and a Knight of Pentacles. I feel like this person is trying to get their money up, Scorpio. I feel like this person has just had to pay out a lot of money to different places, get their bill, their credit up or something, and they done spent out. They went from the six to the two to the one. I do see the ten of pentacles here, and I see this. So this is a now this person wants to bring you something. This person wants to want you to be able to rely on them and depend on them and to trust them. But I feel like it's gonna take them some time here. But there is an opportunity here. Something's going to happen. It's going to present an opportunity. I feel like both of you can make money here. But this person, I feel like this person just, just got through paying off a lot of shit. From six to two to one. Clarify this page of pentacles. Now see, because like I said, they coming to you with the same page. Now they coming to you because look, they ain't got no money. They going to like, look, they, they done went from this. 
They went from paying out all their bills or paying out to, because this one say give, they giving gifts. They didn't gave out all their money to however they give to kids, whatever, whoever, uh, to barely struggling to keep things afloat. This two of pentacles to that now down to their bare minimums. Now they really, they down, they really down now. So that same ace, that same little page of pentacles, they going to reach out to you and you want to get some chicken. <laughs> I know you say you like that chicken down there. That, that, I know you say you like that chicken and them potatoes. I thought maybe you want to go grab some drink. Come to my house. You know how to move. Shit, you ain't been to my new house. Yeah, you know how to move. Or, yeah, I'm not with them now. Some They done moved away. Somebody done moved away here. And it could be the same one who they moved away. Check this out, Scorpio. Trigger alert. Could also be that they want to tell you that they were living with their baby mama and their child. And the baby mom and the child have moved out. Somebody who they were in love with. And now since the baby mom and the baby have moved out, now they're back to their bachelor ways in this King of Wands energy, Scorpio. That's for some. Because I, like I say, I feel like they're losing money, Scorpio. I feel like they're losing money. They done lost money because they got to pay for this child, this page of pentacles here. I feel like for some, this person who they was in love, you know, they are in love with the, the they, but it's over between them. They done moved, feel like they done relocated, probably done left the state and left the country. They done moved somewhere else. They're going over body of water. Uh, and now this person is went from King of Cups towards them to back to their bachelor, bachelor shit, Scorpio. That's for some. And for others, this person going to reach out to you and tell you that, I feel like they moved or maybe they want to move towards a peaceful, peaceful resolution between the two of you because they're still in love with you uh, and they have a lot of passion for you. It's one way or the other, Scorpio. It could be for different for everybody, but I just had to say it because I just saw that right there. Because I'm looking at their money, if, if the child, because it, it makes sense if, if, if you're down to one pentacle, page of pentacles here because some, someone has left, then that means you don't have anything. You know, so quite naturally, you, you're back to a bachelor. This is how they're coming to you. That's why the king of wands is showing up twice here. Who now, what's up with this two of wands energy here? Clarify this two of wands. Two of wands is the knight of swords here. So it feels like this person wants to rush it, but they're trying to come back in. Something is going to happen. Now, either something, something is going to happen something's going to catch this person by surprise. I don't know if this person going to realize that you're the right person for them with this tower card, but they're coming in to something that's going to happen. Right. So I feel like now they really want to pursue you. Now they want to pursue you. Cause your back is to them. You're back in. You ain't here. You like, look, I'm making boss move, bitches. I don't care. I don't care nothing about you. I I'm, I'm playing in my life. I'm playing in my future. I'm trying to see what I'm going to do here. And here they are. I want to rush into you now. Because your back is to them. You're not, you see, I feel like somebody has become single, a bachelor again, so to speak. But your back is to them. You, you, <laughs> all this time you wasn't with this person. You done built your, you done built your, your, your city. You done built your, your world. You've created your own world. Your back is to this person. You, you're not even focused on them. But now they want to rush into you now because something has changed in their life. Let's see. Clarify this Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords, the Empress. Ooh, look at that baby mama. What has happened here? What has happened? Like I say, not they, as, like I say, something has changed in their life. I said, what has changed? You got the freaking Empress. All right, let's clarify. What has changed with this Empress spirit? Clarify the Empress. Page of Wands. Something happened here. What happened here? Clarify this Page of Wands. He got some news, some talking was about this cycle being over. This cycle complete about them leaving. This person caught wind that the baby mama and the baby was going to leave. <laughs> this is why they want to rush into you now. Because they realize that the cycle's over between them and the child's mother. The, look, here it is right here. That's the baby mama and the baby right there. This cycle's over with them. This is them right here. That's them right there, too. Who this person was in love with. He had loved that family. He did. He had love for them. He did. 
But now they're back to being their bachelor self again. Because they're coming after you in this King of Wands energy, Scorpio. Ooh. Ooh, Scorpio. Scorp I wonder why. They must want some money, Scorpio. Clarify this Nine of Cups for Scorpio spirit. Why is this Nine of Cups here? Clarify the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is the Five of Swords here. So you may have one up, Scorpio, or someone could, someone, either this person is feeling snug because they feel like they didn't, they didn't want. They, maybe they may, maybe they pushed them away. I, I don't know. Uh, let's see. Clarify this five of swords. Three of cups here. So this person, clarify three of cups. Oh, Queen of Cups. So I feel like this person is coming to you, Scorpio. Now, they may feel smug now. They may feel like they're winning now because now they get to come back and renew this connection with Scorpio. See? This is why they're happy. They're happy. This is them. They're happy now. <laughs> they happy the baby and the baby mama kick rocks or water. <laughs> they're happy. This is them. They're happy that they left. This is your person being happy and smug. They're happy that they gone. Because now they feel like now, now they got the upper hand because they're going to win at all costs. You know, they, they're going to, they, I feel like they did something to make them leave. They, it, but it was a part of them because they want to come back to you. And I feel like some of y'all weren't going to even talk to this person as long as they had somebody else. And for some of y'all, this person really wants to have a new beginning with you, but they was just there. I feel like this person was there for their child, but they really didn't want to be there. So I feel like this person did whatever they had to do just to get them to leave. I feel like they, they, they did something, provoked them. Maybe they was unbearable shit. But they doing that just so they can come back and renew this with you. They're trying to come back to you, Scorpio. Ooh. Ooh, now what's up with this Ten of Pentacles? Ooh, Scorpio, this is person. This is the, ooh, the, ooh, the nerve. Clarify this Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is clarified by the freaking King of Pentacles, Scorpio. Ooh. Now, is this King of Pentacles you or is this here somebody else? Somebody want this with you now, don't they? Clarify this King of Pentacles for Scorpio. Seven of Cups. So there could be confusion. could be some type of illusions. could be options here. Clarify Seven of Cups. The Sun card here. So this is fantasies here. So I feel like this person, for some of y'all, it's a Leo <laughs> I feel like this person is in fantasy. This person fantasizes about building this Ten of Pentacles with you. I feel like they have, and I feel like they set out to do whatever. I feel like they was tit for tat with, with their child's mother. They played mind games with each other, and they manipulated their ass right on out the door just so they can come back to you, Scorpio. They're coming back to you. Wow, Scorpio, this is weird. Clarify the sun card. Why is the sun card here? Ooh, two of cups. See, they coming back for your ass, Scorpio. It's like they wanted the baby mama gone. I feel like they held on. They probably was codependent in their relationship for that child, but they was like, shit, well, you, you, you want to leave, leave. I feel like this person always made them stay, but this particular time they didn't stop them. They didn't stop them with this world card. They allow, I feel like both parties allowed this to end. Whoever your person is, whoever they were with, they allowed this cycle to go on and complete and go on and close so that this baby's mama and the, and the child could go on, on and leave. And I feel like it was through a message here. They, it, it was some type of, they talked about it. They talked about this ending. They did. And I feel like it could have been, I feel like they talked about it. I feel like they discussed it. And they decide the best thing for them to do is just to part ways. Scorpio, that's what I see. Ooh, Scorpio, what you going to do, Scorpio? Ooh. This is your two of cups, Scorpio. Y'all finna get the ten of pen. This is what they want with you. They want it with you. 
They they feel like it's it's gonna be abundant with you, Scorpio. It is, and I don't place I see you as the Queen of Cups and the uh, Queen of Wands energy. They about their money though, Scorpio. Ooh, and I feel like you two can get this money too. I feel like with this Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles, it's money here. It's money and love here, Scorpio. I see it. It is, but it's up to you. You know, you know how you do. They go that Two of Wands again, Scorpio. Like I said, you got your Ace of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles underneath the bottom of the deck, Scorpio. I don't know what to name this, Scorpio. It's like, it's like your, your person. Because I don't even really see you in here. I don't. I don't see, but like I say, this person is either manifesting you or they working spells on you now. I do remember this right here. And I feel like they intentionally provoked, they did something for the baby mom and the child to leave. That they, I feel like they got unbearable. They just began to be a jerk. They just didn't care anymore. If this person did you bad in the past, Scorpio, they're coming back to make it right with this uh, justice card. With the sun card and the two of cups, this is your soulmate. I'm just saying, damn. This is your soulmate. It's going to be a lot of passion, a lot of sex, a lot of love, a lot of money making shit going on between you and this person. If you choose to, because you got so many opportunities for everything to turn out beautiful for you with this person. But that's up to you, Scorpio. But this is what I have for you. So if this video resonates, Scorpio, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave me a comment. And I'll talk to you later on the next Scorpio video. Bye, Scorpio.